Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy 2019. I hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and also an amazing New Year's. So I actually ended up getting sick just a little bit after Christmas. So it was kind of like a bummer. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I just have a cough that just refuses to go away. So it's kind of annoying. So if I sound a little bit like manly, that's why. Um, but yeah, I wanted to sit down and show you guys my 2018 beauty favorites. These products are some of my favorite products that I used all throughout the year. I have some high-end products and I also have some drugstore products to show you guys. So a little bit of a mixture. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so and join the familia. And don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know this, but... I ended up cutting my hair. I cut like five inches off. It used to be down to my butt and now it's just resting on my chiches. And I absolutely love the way my hair feels. It just feels so light and it just feels amazing getting rid of all of that length. I just wanted a change. So if you are debating whether or not to cut your hair, just do it. I mean, it's hair, it grows back, and I'm telling you, you will just feel like a new person. I feel amazing. I am so glad that I cut it off, and I even want to go, like, a little bit shorter. Like, I'm thinking, like, here, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for that yet, but I am pretty happy with the length right now, but who knows, I might go even shorter in the future. All right, so let's get right into this video. Okay, so I'm going to kind of go in order of how I do my makeup. So, yeah. So, starting off with a serum. I never used to use serum before, but I really got into it this year. Or last year, I should say. And this is the Pearl Essence Radiance Perfecting Serum. It has vitamin C and hyaluronic acid in it. And this is just what it looks like. I'm pretty much almost done. And what this does is it just hydrates your skin it plumps it up it brightens it up and it makes just such a big difference i love applying this before i apply my moisturizer so i definitely recommend you trying out a serum if you haven't gone into serums they just will definitely make a difference in your skin i feel like the texture that i used to have on my cheeks has drastically diminished and i believe that it's because of my serum that i've been using every single day i use it in the morning and sometimes even at night before going to bed and another thing that i feel has definitely changed the texture of my skin is is the next whoa is the next product which is the ole hendrickson truth sea rush brightening cream this stuff is amazing and it smells amazing as well so this just moisturizes your face, it brightens it up as well, and it just feels amazing under foundation. Your foundation just applies just beautifully. Like I said before, I feel like the texture on my skin has drastically changed. I just feel like my cheeks aren't as rough or as like texturized as they used to be. So I definitely recommend you guys checking out serums if you have not used that, if you have not included that in your makeup routine. Definitely try it out. I promise you it'll just change your whole face, your skin, everything. It will just look completely different. It will transform it. Now in the summertime, I am pretty oily. So, and then in the wintertime, I'm pretty dry. So in the summertime, I did love using the Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. This stuff will keep your face looking matte. It helps control oil. So this is another one of my favorite moisturizers. If you have oily skin and you want that mattifying look but in the winter time like I said my face is pretty dry so I do prefer more of um, hydrating and intense like moisturizer um, so I tend to stay away from this one in the winter time okay so moving on to primer so my favorite primer is the Tatcha silk canvas primer this is very luxurious it's very expensive so I understand if you do not want to spend your money on this so I did just see actually this morning on Sephora that they came out with the mini version of this and I believe it's $25 so if you don't want to commit to buying the full size which is I believe like $60 you can go ahead and purchase the mini one this primer is amazing a little goes a long way and I have used quite a bit of it I 
I will probably repurchase the mini one just because I only tend to use this on special occasions when I'm when I want my makeup to just last hours and hours. So if I were to go to like a wedding or just something fancy or it's just a special event where I want my makeup to last like super duper long, I then use the Tatcha Silk Canvas. But I try not to use this every single day because like I said, it's expensive, but this is beautiful. It just smooths out your pores, it smooths out your skin, and it just does amazing things for your skin. Another primer that I love is the No Pore no problem primer and this is by touch and soul this also blurs your pores it also just provides a nice silky smooth canvas before applying your foundation so this one is i believe twenty dollars i'm not a big fan of the smell it kind of reminds me of like baby powder or like the spray people spray in public washrooms i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but that like powdery baby smell like baby powder smell. I don't know. I just, I, I'm not a fan of the, of the scent. But other than the scent, this is really good. And like I said, it's not as expensive as the Tatcha canvas. Uh, this one, I believe, is $20. And it pretty much does the same thing, but not as good as the Tatcha silk canvas. Another primer that I love from the drugstore is Rimmel London's Insta Flawless Perfecting Radiant Primer. This brightens skin tone. It gives you a natural looking glow. It primes and perfects your skin. So this is one of my favorite drugstore primers. I don't find that it blurs your skin or like blurs your pores, but what I do find is that it does give you this nice glow and it does brighten up your skin. And when you put on your foundation over top of this, you still have that nice glow and you also have like this dewy kind of look. I don't know, like your makeup just looks fresh and nice and glowy. It doesn't look super matte, you know what I mean? So moving on to foundation. So I have three foundations that I absolutely love. None of them are high-end, believe it or not. I don't know, I've never gotten into high-end foundations and I think that's a good thing because I feel like if I did, I would be spending way more money than I already do on makeup and yeah, so I always use just drugstore foundation. The first one is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. This foundation is amazing. It gives you a full, full coverage. It lasts all day long. The only downside is that this does, um, oh, what's the word? Oh my God, I can't think of the word. When it like goes darker on your skin, what is it called? Oxidizes. So this does oxidize on your skin a tiny bit. So just keep that in mind if you do decide to purchase this. I also love the Maybelline Matte Poreless Foundation. This one is more of a medium coverage and it just leaves your skin looking, even though it's matte, it still leaves a little bit of like a dewy finish on me anyways. If I had to pick one drugstore brand that I love. It's Maybelline, hands down. I just love all their products. They come out with some pretty good stuff and their foundations are just the bomb. And another foundation that I absolutely love is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm in the shade Golden Beige. This foundation does smell like paint thinner, but whatever, the scent goes away pretty quickly. And this foundation photographs beautifully it just looks amazing. I love mixing like this and the Maybelline together. I feel like it's perfect. It's so nice. And I also like mixing the Wet n Wild and the Super Stay Foundation together. I just feel like, I don't know what it is, but just mixing the Wet n Wild with other foundations, it just creates such a nice finish on your skin. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm in love with these three foundations and the best thing about them is that they're all from the drugstore and they're just inexpensive and they're actually really good. Okay, so when it comes to concealer, I have repurchased this. I got one for Christmas, so this is my second one. It's actually, it's actually right here. <laughs> I haven't opened it. So this is the third time that I've purchased 
this concealer. This is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. The stuff is amazing. Um, it lasts a long time. It gives you a full coverage and it's very hydrating. I have a lot of like little fine lines underneath my eye. And so sometimes my concealers tend to like crease or they just dry out my under eye. And then when I put the powder on top, my under eyes just look dry. And I hate that because it makes me look, I don't know, older. So when they came out with this concealer and everyone was saying how amazing it was and how hydrating it was under the eyes, I decided to try it out and I've just, I've never looked back. It's just a very good concealer. It is a little bit pricey, but like I said, it's going to last you a while and it's definitely worth every penny. We don't have pennies in Canada anymore, so it's worth every nickel. Okay, after that, what's next? Powder. Okay, so for powder, I have three because I just, I could not pick one. I'm going to start off with the cheapest one. So the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This one is in light medium. You guys, this is amazing. Very inexpensive. I think it's like $7. You can get it at Walmart. I just set my foundation with this and it just leaves such a nice flawless finish. It's amazing. It's so good. And it, like I said, very inexpensive. It just makes your face look airbrushed. I love this so much. I went out and got another one because it's just, it's so amazing. It's always sold out and yeah, the hype is real. Five stars. It's so good. So another powder that I absolutely love is the Lawless Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder. This one is a little bit pricey, but definitely worth it. This will make your face look like face like you face tuned it. It just makes your skin look absolutely flawless and it just, I don't know, it just blurs out your pores. It looks so good on the skin and it's a beautiful finishing powder. Definitely recommend this. Again, a little bit pricey, but just it's definitely worth it. When I get a little bit oily or I need to like touch up my makeup or I don't have time to, you know, redo my makeup again, all I do is take this Sephora Micro Smooth um, Baked Face Powder and this is in medium. And I just take a fluffy brush and I just like powder my face wherever it's um, oily. And this just makes your makeup look nice and fresh. I've raved about this product on my channel for a long time. I absolutely love this powder. It's so good. And I've had it for a couple months now and like it's finally going a little bit flat. But these products are just going to last you a long time because you only, only need a little bit. Even though some of these products are pricey, I find that... The products that I buy from Sephora, they just last me way longer than drugstore products. Do you guys find that as well? I don't know if it's just me, but I find that high-end products just last a long time because all you need is a little bit, like a little bit goes a long way. So I don't know, something to think about. Okay, so for bronzer, the bronzer that I love is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I got another one of these for Christmas. Um, because I'm almost out. This is such an amazing shade. It's like a classic. You should have this in your makeup collection if you love makeup and you do contour. This is just a beautiful shade. Not too dark, not too light. It's like perfect. And this little brush that comes in here, you don't throw it out, use it. Like it's really good, especially for like contouring your nose. Like it's just, it's perfect. So I definitely recommend this brush. Don't throw it out. Another bronzer that I really like is the one that comes in the Tarte Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. And <coughs> I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm almost like out of this shade. And I don't think they sell this palette anymore on Sephora. Like I don't see it anymore. But as you can see, I'm in love with this shade right here. And this is the shade um, Terracotta. And I'm about to hit, well I did hit pan on it but... I mean, I feel like it's just, it's going to be done this year. And I don't know what I'm going to do because it's like my favorite contouring shade. It's just, it's amazing. And this whole palette smells amazing. Um, but yeah, let me know if I can get that shade like by itself, terracotta, because I have searched and I don't see it anywhere. So if you know where I can get it, let me know. Okay, so for blush, um... I love the Milani Romantic Rose Blush. This blush is absolutely beautiful. It's very soft, but you can definitely build it up. 
And I don't know, I just love the smell of it. It reminds me of something. I don't know what it is, but it just reminds me of like my childhood. It's just a nice, soft, romantic rose kind of shade. And like I said, you could build it up and it's absolutely beautiful on the skin. And another favorite blush of mine is the Sephora Winter Flush Palette. I bought this last year and I just been, I haven't even hit pan on any of them and I use them every single day. So I love this palette. I love all the shades in here. You got some cool tones and you got some warm tones as well. For highlighters, I had a hard time choosing like just one or two. So I do have um, quite a bit of highlighters. Let me get them. They're over here because they didn't fit on this little table here. One second. We'll start with the Wet n Wild highlighter, highlighting powder in Precious Petals. This highlighter is beautiful. It's just a nice rose gold kind of shade. And it's just so beautiful. This is very inexpensive. And all of the highlighters from Wet n Wild are just so beautiful. So if you haven't checked out their highlighters, definitely recommend that you do because like I said, very cheap and they're actually very good. They're not like powdery or anything like that. They're really nice. Another highlighter that I love is the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter and this is in Molten Gold. This is more of a gold highlighter whereas the other one was like a rose gold and this one is more of a pure like goldy golden kind of highlighter. I like it more like in the summertime when I have more of a tan going on but this is a beautiful highlight. It's it's gorgeous. And then my other two favorite highlighters are the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Marisi highlighter. I picked this up last month. It's so beautiful. Look at this. It's so gorgeous. It was out of stock for quite some time and they brought it back to Sephora. So I decided to pick it up and it's stunning. It's so beautiful. And last but not least, this one is very expensive. Um, this was sent to me, so I didn't purchase it myself, but this is the Burberry Rose Gold Number no. 4 Fresh Glow Highlighter. This is absolutely beautiful. This one is probably like my favorite one out of all of them, but it's very pricey, so I'm going to be very sad when I run out because I doubt I would like purchase it because I think it's like $80. It's crazy, I know, but it just gives the nicest highlight and it just melts into your skin and it doesn't emphasize texture. It's just, it's so nice. It just like, oh, I just feel like I'm forgetting stuff. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. My favorite eyeshadow palette. Okay, but before we get into the eyeshadow palettes, I want to talk about eyebrows because I forgot to talk about that. So for eyebrows, I have been using like all year long this BH Studio Pro Ultimate Brow Palette. You got a bunch of powders and you also have the waxes down at the bottom. So I tend to stick to these three right here. I now tend to just stick to like powders just because, I don't know, it just gives more of a softer look and I don't know, I'm just trying to make my brows look more natural, you know, even though they are totally fake. So when it comes to eyeshadow palettes, I have um, three to show you guys. So the first one is the Soft Glam Palette. This palette is amazing. I hit pan on quite a bit of shades here, but you have your nice warm tones and you also have some shimmer shades as well. If you want to add like a pop of shimmer on your lid, I love Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes because all the colors are super blendable and they're super buttery and just easy to work with. I love all her palettes and this one is one of my favorites. Another palette that I feel like no one really talks about is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. So this palette has some beautiful shades in there. Again, the colors are easy to work with. They blend just beautifully. They're buttery. And you can definitely create a lot of looks using this palette. And another palette that I absolutely love is the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. You guys, this palette, I have been using it pretty much every single day. I'm sure you guys have seen this. It just looks like this. And I'm just in love with this palette. It's so beautiful. Like you can create so many looks using this palette. 
you got your warm tones, you got your pop of colors if you want to do something fun on your lids, and you got your reds, you got your golds, you got your shimmery pinks, you got your neutrals. It's just an amazing palette and definitely recommend this one if you have not purchased it. Okay, last but not least are lip products. Let me just grab them one second. Okay, so my favorite, like I have so many, but I could only narrow it down to a couple. So I decided to choose these three right here. So this is Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I also have Stripped by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I have this one by uh, Rimmel and it is Latte To Go. The Latte To Go is amazing when you like just apply any color on your lips and then you just top it off with this. It just creates the nicest lipstick all the time. Like I've never had an issue where the lipstick looks weird or it's not a nice shade. Today I'm wearing the uh, Stripped, this one right here by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then I added the Latte To Go on top and I feel like it just looks so nice. It's a nice nude. All right, and last but not least are my setting sprays. I have two all-time favorite setting sprays. These setting sprays have like changed my whole makeup game. They're amazing, definitely worth the money. So the first one is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. This stuff is amazing. And what this does is it takes like all the powder that you have put all over your face and it just melts it into your face. It just it melts all the products into your skin, leaving you with this nice glow. It's just like a magical spray. This is my holy grail setting spray. I will never stop using this. And then last but not least is the Urban Decay uh, All Nighter setting spray. This is the jumbo size. I ended up getting the jumbo size because the one that's like less than this is like $10 cheaper. So I just decided to get the jumbo. Um, but the jumbo I believe is like limited time only. So if you are looking for a makeup, sp makeup spray that's going to make your makeup last like all day long, I believe this claims it makes your makeup last, yes, for 16 hours, then I definitely recommend this. This it just, it smells so good and your makeup will just last on your face forever these two are just amazing i love them they're my all-time favorite setting sprays and definitely one of my favorite setting sprays of 2018 all right so this concludes my 2018 beauty favorites and thank you so much for watching sorry if it was kind of like all over the place but um i don't know I'm just, I wanted to get through it very quickly. I didn't want this video to be like two hours long. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for all your support and for always being there for me. I'm wishing you guys the best this year. And I also hope that this year is good to Mike and I. As you guys know, we are trying for a baby. I will update you guys on that whole situation as well because I know I did one video and then I didn't update you guys at all about it. So I'm hoping that 2019 is also a good year for us. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.